What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's jump right on in and start talking about how to operate the button panel in your 6R tractor. Now for example here, I'm in a 2023 6R145. So if you have a different model, this might be just a little bit different, but it should get you pretty close and at least give you an idea of what you're looking at when you get into your machine. Now if you have an older model, this may not match up, but from at least 2023 on, this this is the setup that you're going to see. Now, the button panel that I'm talking about is going to be over here to your right, and it's very obvious it is this section here that has all of these different buttons. Now, nice thing is, is that these are sectioned out. If you really look at them close, you're going to see here that this section is actually raised. That's because all of these features are going to sort of go together. This, this, this section here is also kind of segregated there with that little bit of a line. These are all going to go together. Then you have this row at the bottom. These are going to be more of all of your tractor functions here that go together. And then over here to the left, you're going to have a little bit of a conglomerate of different features that are going to go not only to a certain feature, but may also go to your right hand monitor over here on the side. We'll just start over here to the right and then work our way across to the left. So the first thing that we're gonna have is up here in this top right section, these are going to be your controls for your radio. So we're gonna have a plus and minus button here that's gonna be for the volume. Then of course we're gonna have a mute and then you're gonna have a forward and backward button. So if you're scrolling through those radio stations, you can hold that down, it's gonna to go to the next station. Or if you have your phone hooked up to this machine through Bluetooth, you're gonna be able to cycle through that next song right over here to your right without having to reach all the way up to the radio, which is all the way up here at the top of the cab. So that's gonna be a nice feature. Now, next, moving over here to the left of those, what we're going to have here, these are going to be more of our drive features or our MFWD and our differential lock. So here at the top, we're going to have our two MFWD buttons. This one is going to be for auto. This is going to turn it to where MFWD is constantly on. So you can toggle back and forth between those. Same thing down here at the bottom. We have our differential lock. So for our rear wheels, whenever we're in those muddy, sticky situations and we need that differential to be locked into place, we have an auto button here for it or an on button here for it. We can toggle those on and off. We're also going to have right here, this is going to lock out our whatever control group we have set. That's going to be a setting that is in your right hand screen here, but we can lock those out. So once we push that button, you're going to notice over here on the screen that it's going to pop you up a notification saying that that's locked out. And so once we push it again, then there it says that it's disengaged. Now, moving on over here to the left, first thing that you're going to see here are going to be your fan control. So this is going to be for your HVAC system. You're going to have an up fan, down fan. Then we're also going to have our temperature buttons here. So you're going to have an up temperature mm -hmm. and a down temperature. Then you're also going to have your selector button here for what fans you want to blow. So we can choose obviously between whether that's going to be blowing at our defrost or if we want that blowing at our feet, if we want it blowing at all three or just at the face. And all of that information is going to come up over here on our right hand display. So as we push that button, you can see that those are going to change. Then if we move over to the left, we are going to have our Bluetooth controls. So this is going to be for your voice control. So once you hit that button, it's going to allow you to give a voice command if your phone is set up to this machine to call whoever, text whoever, whatever those commands are that are available. You have those, and then you're also gonna have a phone hang up button right over here, right next to it. Then moving down below that, what we're going to have is we are going to have our toggle here between heat and cool. Then we're also going to have our, one of our lights buttons right here. So these are gonna be, this is gonna be for your main set of lights that are not on your steering wheel. So your main working lights. So now we're gonna have some more light switches in just a minute that are gonna be configurable through that display over on the right hand side. Then up here up top, we're gonna have this scroll dial. Now this scroll dial here is going to be for your display. So once we go into one of these settings, if we wanted to change something on this SCV, instead of hitting our plus or minus arrows to change that, we could simply scroll 
with our scroll dial here to change those. So that is a nice feature, makes it a little bit easier if you're going through the field in a bumpy situation. We're not trying to have to push buttons here. We can just simply scroll with that dial going back and forth to change that. Now, this is a good point here. If we wanted to, we could hit the X to get out of this screen or right below it, we're gonna have this green button here. That is going to exit us out of that screen. Then right below that, we have this arrow that's going to the right. So if we wanted to change our screen, we could hit that button. That's going to go to our other page there. That brings us up to the guidance. We wanted to go back to the other screen. We can just toggle back and forth with that green button there. Now, as we've seen, this screen is going to be intuitive with the buttons over here. So it's very important that we know that we're going to get information from that screen. So down here, right below, like I talked about, these are going to be more for your tractor features. But right here, we're going to have one. This is going to be for our engine. This is the engine symbol that is used on most machines. So once we hit that, we can see here that we're going to bring up engine information so we can get out of that screen. Next to that is going to be a gear. So once we hit that, that is going to bring up our transmission information. Then next to it, we're going to have a PTO button here. That is going to be the symbol for the PTO. So once we hit that on the screen, it's going to bring up our PTO. Now here we can see that we can change between what PTO settings we want. We can exit out of that. Then we're going to have our three point hitch settings right here. Once we hit that, then we're going to have our three point rear hitch settings right here. We can exit out of those. Now, next, this button here, it's going to look like, like a little square with a arrow pointing up to a dot. This is going to be the button that we push if we're wanting to change some of our controls. So once we push that, it's going to bring up our control setup page. Next is going to be our iTech button. So if we have iTech set up on this machine and iTech is one of those features that comes with this where you can set the machine up to do different tasks automatically. If you have those set up, you'll be able to access those with the iTech button. It's going to bring that page up on your monitor. Then over here, right here at this button, this is going to bring up our SCVs. So this is going to bring up obviously right now we're showing 11, 12 and 13. Right here, we could click and we could go to our one through four, or we could go ahead and exit out. And then once we get back here, these are gonna be our lights buttons. So we're gonna have our hazards, obviously right here, that are gonna turn those hazard lights on. Then we have a one and a two, so we can hit these. These are gonna be configurable in that screen, depending on the light setup that you have on your machine. So if you if you want to set up a certain set of lights to come on when you hit number one, you have that option and then you also have number two. Then you're gonna have an open space here and as you notice, we've got some other open spaces here. If you have a different machine, you may have a few more buttons. This is all the ones that this 6R145 has. But at the back here, you're also gonna have a beacon button. So if you have that beacon on top that blinks then you wanna be able to turn that on, you've got that button right back here. Now, of course, there are many more controls in this machine, but that button panel can be very, very intimidating if you have no idea and have never been in one of these. Right there is the simple breakdown, guys. Not as intimidating as it looks if you just pay attention to the symbol that's on that button. Kind of realize how those are grouped together. It makes it very easy. There's actually kind of a rest back here on the back side of this where you can rest your hand and be able to hit those buttons with your thumb or easily to rest it over here on the right, just like this and be able to push those buttons. But it is very important that you know how those work, where they're at and what all they control whenever you get into this machine. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you are looking for more information like this or just more information over John Deere equipment in general, make sure to go check out the rest of the channel. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.